soil it. I'm coming to you. Well, how about that? So, uh, Nick Jensen, you're a builder of many guns. Uh, what is this? This is uh, the rocket launcher as it appears in the Halo series, specifically the one they added to uh, Halo 5 in a recent DLC. Well, that's something else. I'm uh, at a loss for words right now because I'm completely taken aback by not only the scale, but your ability to kind of hold it in the way that you are. Uh, how does one build a gun like this so that you can do this? What, what, what's inside of this wonderful creation that allows you to uh, carry it around like so? Um, so the internal structure is not just bricks stacked as you would uh, normally build if you're like building a tower, say. It has some bricks uh, stacked sideways that not only gets some more detail out of uh, the pieces, but it also locks pieces together so that uh, it'll hold together better. Very cool. So Nick, uh, when you're building something like this, what, uh, what's the hardest part about building a gun of this size, uh, uh, something that you can carry around like this? What, what's, so, what's, so, what's the hardest thing that you run into while building something like this? So building on a smaller scale, you have to be concerned about like detail and uh, making sacrifices to get the certain details that you want. But at this scale, you also have to consider the weight of pieces and where they are placed. So. Uh, like pieces like uh, these individual slopes, they might not weigh much, but when there's thousands of them like in this build, they, their weight adds up. In yeah. fact, this whole thing weighs 24 pounds and it has to be able to support all that weight without uh, any noticeable sag or uh, snapping of pieces. Definitely, definitely. Now, could you uh, show some of your um, favorite parts of the build as far as like either coloring goes or technique? Uh, just point out a few things that we can see uh, from this angle. Yeah, so the Halo 5 rocket launcher, what made it interesting to me was like the orange striping. So you see a band of orange stripes right here and uh, towards the, the muzzle area and one going down the center drum. It, it just had the most interesting uh, color schemes and in Halo 5 they brought back the classic spanker uh, lettering onto the tubes, which is uh, quite interesting. Now, Nick, to uh, round us out here, could you show off some of the features, maybe uh, parade around a little bit? Yeah, I've just got one feature. The top cover comes off. You can take out the tubes. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. That is amazing. Wow. And look at that. You can just, he's one hand, he's just holding, it's just like, it's like you're manhandling it, you know? Yeah, it's, and I. Uh, make the internal structure super sturdy so that I can carry it with one hand because uh, reloading was a consideration I had early on in the de design process. That's remarkable. So Nick, if someone wants to build a gun like this, uh, what do you tell them? Do you tell them to go out and uh, look at your builds and try and reverse engineer some of them? Or what do you wish you knew before you uh, set out on a journey of building this gun and all of the guns that you, uh, you build? Consider the internal structure early. Make sure that it'll support the weight and not just uh, the details that you want because people will notice if parts sag or uh, if parts are breaking and you want to avoid that if possible. Nick, you are a machine, you are a madman, you are a genius. Thank you for sharing this with us. Wonderful build as always. Thanks for uh, having me. Uh, 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 u